Retard Dead, yes. This, you know, it's a little politically incorrect title, but uh, actually, I think they're actually going to find that they have to retitle the film to, I think the, the alternate title is uh, Infected. But uh, basically, this is a sequel to another film made by the same filmmakers called Monsterd, another politically incorrect title, <laughs> where it's literally about, you know, it's like an old 50s style monster on the loose type film where, you know, uh, like in the old days, it would be radiation or toxic waste or something that would turn something into a monster like Godzilla or whatever. Well, in their film, Monsterd, there's a prisoner who escapes into the sewers and some chemicals are flushed down the toilet and they get on the man and they turn him into literally a turd man monster. <laughs> and he comes up through the toilets and kills people sitting on the commode. <laughs> So it's a little, a little, a little on the dirty subject side, but you know, it's really, it really has to be seen to be believed. It's quite funny. I mean, it's you know, there's some some silly special effects and stuff. At the end of the film, the monster is defeated and destroyed by a, a, a huge, you know. Uh, cage full of flies that attack him and you know nibble him away into nothing <laughs> but uh, that film once that film was finished you know the the evil scientist who created the chemicals that turned the man into the monster he is you know escaping at the end of that film and his new you know evil you know, dastardly plan is what makes the the retard dead. He gets a job working in a uh, school for the uh, you know mentally challenged, let's say, and he begins to experiment on them with his mad scientist chemicals, and he ends up turning the students of this mentally challenged school into super smart people. You know, they go from being a little less than than bright to super intelligent but an after effect you know a, a side effect is that they die and become zombies after after they get smart for a while <laughs> so I'm the special effects director for that film and we did like over 150 zombies for that film all at once you know just a gigantic zombie day and I've done you know several big sequences you can if you're interested you want to go look at up the film they have their own website called 4321films.com and there's a clip you know that shows a trailer for it and it shows still photos behind the scenes of all my special effects work I've done things like you know a human body being torn in half and you know guts and brains and you know arms ripped off and you know just full of Gore and mayhem. You know. <laughs> How many films have you done? Or you know, I've lost count, but over a dozen feature films. I mean, if you were to look my you know credits up on the International Movie Database, you know, imdb.com, there you will find my name if you put my name in as a search, and all my credentials will come up. All the feature films I've worked on. My very first film was this character was made for. Uh, his name is Dr. Ramses, and that was my first feature film over tw almost 20 years ago. And that uh, film is about to come out on DVD, and I'm doing an audio commentary, and I'm providing special behind-the-scenes extra material and photographs and stuff, and I have to deliver all that material uh, in the middle of this month, and then that, that film will be out very soon on DVD. It's never been released in the United States on DVD. It was on uh, VHS for many years, for the past you know, 17 years.